done the unboxing and adjusted all the straps and everything i was just going to show y'all the new upgraded vest because uh she outgrew the other cheap one that was just kind of a trainer for her that was uh the other little one she had was a medium and it was 17 dollars off of a uh, cheap company but i mean it was pretty well made but this is a lot better this is an actual working dog brand made by ice fang and uh, as you can see, it's got a handle in the middle, control handle. It's got double metal triangle uh, uh, clips where you can hook your harnesses on. And uh, it's a six buckle. It's got Cobra buckles on the front. If uh, my, any of you outdoorsmen or hikers or anybody or tactical people know anything about Cobra buckles, they're very, very tough. And uh, back here, I mean, it's got some really good, you can't unsnap it like this. You literally have to push up and snap for them to come off. I tried every different way to pull this thing off, but you have to use two hands to do these buckles. They may be very hard plastic, but when they snap in, they snap in. And um, it's very heavy weight too. I mean, it's got some, it's very well built quality. But Cobra buckles, you push down and snap, but once you get them, get them on, they lock. You have to use two hands or be on the dog. But you can do it one hand and firmly get that on there. But I just want to say this, uh, I think I bought the G5 model. This may be the G7 model. I'll put a link in the description below where I bought it from, but I've already adjusted it to as tight as it'll go because uh, it came out of the package pretty well fitted. I just had to adjust these straps up here a little bit tighter around her uh, chest plate so it'd be tighter around her neck, but this one down here was already adjusted to what I told them. My dog's back's 28 inches around, so that's nice and tight straight out of the pack. I just tucked everything away away real nice and went back and forth and tucked them all inside the strap so I'd have a adjustability. I didn't cut anything right now because with this being a large, she may get a little bit bigger being a Dutch Shepherd and a Malinois mix. But uh, it's real heavy. You got a control ring on the bottom. Everything's metal except for these plastic. But all your connectors are heavy, heavy metal. I mean, this thing's you could tell it's very well built, very well padded. My dog didn't have any comfort issues putting it on and walking straight to the Dollar General around the corner and everything. Nice webbing. I had a lot more room to like spread my patches out and add stuff on it. So I'll put it on, I'll put it on Jenny and I'll uh, let y'all see how it's fit on her. I'll go inside and get her real quick. She just ate, so uh, let me go get her, put it on, and give y'all a puppy model. But this is the uh, tactical Coyote Brown. I bought Coyote Brown because I didn't want gray or black, but the Coyote Brown looks really good on her. And um, But this is the uh, tactical vest from Ice Fang. Here. Good girl. Good girl. Come here. I know you're trying to heal. Here. Sit. Good girl. Show a bite how good you are when you know you're getting your best. Now, I like getting my best. It means I might do something. But we ain't gonna go nowhere. You're gonna bite over everybody. Good girl. I'm gonna zoom in in a minute and tell y'all how everything should fit. And you want your bottom, your bottom straps and breastplate to overlap these. And then you want to get a good firm snap. Same thing on top. You want your bottom chest straps to overlap your top plate.
this side's a little bit more tricky because it's so tight, but it's good and firm. She doesn't complain with it on. We walked over a mile going to Dollar General and back, well, it's a half mile there and a half mile back. When you go the long way around here, up to 55 and around. But if I were to go down to Quicks and around, it's uh, it's a mile. We walked about three quarters of a mile today because we came to Quick Way back home. But everything's real nice and tight, real clean. Stay, sit. Good girl, stay. See, let me zoom in on her a little bit. See how nice it fits. You wanna go potty? Jeannie, you wanna go potty? Go potty. You wanna see what I'm doing? Come on. See, she's got her nice, good stride. Go, go outside in the yard. Go potty. I'm okay, you don't have to be right on me. Go potty. It's a lot prettier vest. And I think the, uh, I think the desert, or the coyote brown Looks really nice with her uh, fawn stripes that she's got. Now, I've never, I had somebody jump on me on the Malinois site, but they seem to be a very, very open community to close relatives and matches. But she's a Dutch Shepherd Belgian Malinois, and I've never told any of y'all she's full-blooded from the time I've had her or anything. But, uh, so I don't see any of that on the video. She is a Dutch Shepherd mother with a Belgian Malinois Tiburon coat dad. People say Belgian Tiburon, but I mean, they're not. They do get bred separately, like long-haired collies and short-haired collies and long-haired dachshunds and everything do at the Westminster Dog Show, but she's not going to be a show dog. She's gonna be my companion and friend. But look how nice the fit is. Stay. She can move freely in it and everything. I wish I had a better lighting on here, but the 13 Pro Max doesn't have a uh, video night mode yet. I mean the 12 Pro Max, I'm sorry. I have a 12 Pro Max. Uh, the 13 came out the Monday after I bought this one on a Saturday. Um, the 13 came out the next Monday. She's just not wanting to move right now. She ate, she was trying to lay down for a nap. I just wanted to see, give y'all a very good review on this ice fang vest so far. Um, the U Barco or other vest that I bought that I, I think I showed y'all in one of my other videos or wrote a review on, it didn't turn out too good. The uh, front, the front strap actually ended up breaking. What's wrong? You know, that's just a cat, a tomcat. You've never heard that noise before, have you? We got some tomcats in heat, or some females in heat, and there's a tomcat over there somewhere where singing away. I'm trying to get her to move a little bit where y'all can watch her. She's got a nice, just gait. Her, her walk's nice and comfortable. She's not bound up. We walked all the way to the store, no complaints. She's just tired. 
even though we haven't had a long day today. I've just been around, see, here she goes. Come on, here. Good girl, good girl. Come on, come on. Oh, go in the house. Come on, go in the house. Good girl, sit. Good girl, stay. No. Good girl. Come on, go inside. Come on. Go inside. Good girl. Kennel. Freya wants to look at it. She got a new vest today. And a new camo purple collar and leash set. Her name tag hadn't come in yet. She just got a trainer vest, a no pull. They tore up an envelope I threw down for the mail earlier today. Say hi, Freya. Come here, Freya. Jenny, stay. This is Freya. She's an 11 week Belgian Malinois. She is dark sable. She is black sable and dark fawn because the gray on her down here in her midsection is dark fawn. She's got some fawn stripes right on her neck and behind her first quarter, but she's mainly black on the belly, black legs and little frosted tips. Good Freya. Sit. Good girl, stay. She's doing good for 11 weeks old. She's ahead of her learning curve. Good girl. All right, I gotta get her vest off before her patches get snagged on everything. Y'all have a great night. God bless you. Bye.